We're doing a deep dive on the Callaway Jaws full toe wedges today for an episode of the Swing Report. We're gonna do some testing, we're gonna hit some different shots, we're gonna get some uh, feedback on feel as well. So golfers, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for more in-depth product knowledge and reviews like this. Also, for our final thoughts, all-encompassing information on these wedges, skip to the final chapter. Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. Today, I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, and we're outside in the practice area today. We've got some new wedges from Callaway, the Jaws Full Toe. Uh, Thomas, I know this is kind of right up your alley mm -hmm. because I know you're playing that PM grind uh, from a couple years ago in your bag right now and the Jaws Full Toe is kind of in that similar ballpark with the grooves covering the whole face, uh, but of course an updated technology and information here. So I uh, wanted to get your, your feedback on that. And first, what do you see when you look at these? I'm very excited, yeah. not gonna lie. This is gonna probably go in my bag for sure because I have been playing the, uh, the PM grind for the last couple years. It's pretty worn right mm -hmm. now. I know they, uh, they ran out of supplies there and you can no longer custom order these. So I, was, I knew something else was coming out. We got the the jaws mm -hmm. full toe, and Absolutely. it looks exceptionally good compared looks, to the it's, it's the PM got a grind. Look for sure. Yeah, it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit smaller. Now a lot of people have talked about the PM grind being kind of out there yeah. with regards to the look. It's been exceptionally good. It stayed in my bag. It took me like three shots to fall in love with it. So I'm no doubt this is going to be a good replacement. So Thomas, I wanted to dive into some of this this technology here because you know you you, you love the PM grind so much, and this is only kind of topping that, if you will. So, I mean, the first thing I wanted to touch on is that it's a, it basically it's a spin machine, right? And so Jaws, it's the reason it's called Jaws. Tons of bite on the ball. And so with these, with these wedges, you get the fell face Jaws grooves, offset groove and groove technology, and an all new raw face. And you can almost feel that, you know, when you yeah. kind of, you're putting your, your, you rub your fingers on top of that club face. It just feels like a different texture to it. Um, and you can tell there's some serious bite to it. Yeah, it's. It's definitely unique looking. I'm looking down at the, so this is the chrome mm -hmm. one with the uh, the raw finish to it, and you can see that it is ready to rust up a little mm -hmm. bit. I know they say rust gives a little bit more potential friction, a, a little bit, a little more spin. But it's going to be interesting to see how it turns when it does rust, because I'm curious on, on that. I do like the fact that it's not as shiny. So I've been playing the chrome PM grind, and it's you know it's fairly shiny when I get in the sand. Very easy to hit out of sand, but very shiny. So yeah. it's a sacrifice that I've kind of played. And there, yes, there's a darker finish as well, um, but I've always liked to sure. gravitate towards the, the chrome okay. with my wedges. Okay, and then one thing to note too, so this, this full toe or kind of high toe shape um, with the extra you know surface area towards that toe area, what actually does is um, it increases and moves up the center of gravity. So if you're someone that likes to flight the ball a little bit, maybe keep that shot low when you're hitting a pitch shot, for example, with that center of gravity raised up into the club head, it makes it easier to keep that thing low. So that's another reason why so many golfers have gravitated towards this design. Um, you know, like the PM grind, for example, was being able to flight the ball a little bit better. And so that you see that here with the full toe as well. It's the same exact kind of uh, philosophy there. Right, CG moving further away, so further out the club head is going to give that player the ability to flight the shots. Trajectory is important with your wedge game. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've used this club probably eight, 10 times around. So it's yeah. one of it's probably my most used club that I use. So I'm I will expect a lot out of my wedges yeah. and uh, no doubt this is gonna perform really well. So now we want to talk about the shafts. So I know you have the information on both of the sort of stock offerings here because there are some pretty good options that Callaway has chosen to go with these full toe wedges. Yeah, so they do have the True Tampa Dynamic Gold. Uh, I think I believe it's like their spinner wedge. Mm -hmm. I think the weight of that is about 115 grams. That's this this stock steel shaft. I'm holding the Catalyst Graphite Wedge Shaft. Um, that's also in a, in a graphite option, and the weight of that's about 80 grams. So initial testing, we're gonna be testing with these graphite shafts. This is so far what we've got so far. But I even kind of notice, it doesn't seem like it's crazy light. 80 grams for a graphite shaft is, is pretty, pretty stout, mm -hmm. essentially. So it's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, I'm excited to see how it tests. One thing I did also notice is the bounce. So yep. with the six, so with the 58, 60 and 64, we got 10 degrees of bounce. Yep. My previous 60 had 12 degrees of bounce. So I'm more of a picker, yep. but I sacrificed that because I really liked how this would go through the ground anyway. But I do like that it's got that C grind finish with it, yep. with 10 degrees of bounce on it. And then we've got the 54 and the 56, your sandwich options, they're gonna be a 12 degrees of bounce on them. Yeah, yeah. so I really like what, I think clearly what they're going for, and I think especially anybody that has this type of wedge, but 
versatility around the greens with those short shots, right? Because you don't see, you're not going to see a 50 or 52 degree wedge option here. This wedge is designed for those players that like to really create the different shots around the green, manipulate that face a little bit, and the C grind allows them to do that. And of course, the the technology we talked about on the face also. So um, I'm excited to to see you test some shots here, see what kind of um, action you can get on the ball a little bit here. Yeah. So we've got both the 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 more satin chrome look to it, and we also have the the darker finish as well. Yeah. And that comes in two different finishes. Dark finish is definitely nice if you're in the sand for, for shiny, but I'm interested to see because this is definitely looks a little bit darker than oh, the yeah. original chrome look for sure. There is a stark so contrast it's, from it's the a, hosel to the face. It's there, quite so. the contrast, yep. yeah. So let's do some testing. All right, Thomas, you've got the, was that the 56 degree and the uh, raw black finish? I mean, it's that, black. That's, that's got to be that's yeah. got to be different than uh, what you're used to. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really solid black here. So golfers that like that darker finish, yeah, it looks pretty pretty sick actually. All right, so we're up around the practice range now. What's the target out there? So middle middle pin out here. We got. I mean, a shot was like 96 yards with my range finder. Okay. Got a little breeze into us. Yeah, so we do have some wind into us. So I'm gonna try and hit about a hundred yard shot. Okay. Something to note then, the trackman numbers might not be perfect based on the wind. Based on where too. the bull lands, yeah. yeah. There's a little, yeah, I've got about a 12 to 15 mile an hour wind in, into. And this will test to see if I can slide it down. True. Yep. Left a little right on that one. On that one, you spun it just over 9,000 RPM. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what you're looking for in terms of, you know, height and stuff. That was 62 feet in the yeah, air. Yeah, I was trying so. to flight that one down a little bit, knowing that the wind's there. And let's yeah. hit a couple more. It's just not so much worry about the the wind getting it. I'd expect maybe closer to 10,000 spin. So that one felt pretty crisp. Yeah, that was. It sounded good too. It sounded yeah. soft. So that one, the wind definitely got that one. Yes. That's why you got to flight it down a little bit. Yeah. All yeah. the spin numbers on that so shot. So actually, so funny, the spin actually went down on that Interesting. One compared to the, your first one. So, but you were another 28 feet in the air. Yep. For your height there. So, interesting. The ball's in, I mean, those t shots are in pretty similar positions, at least from our vantage point. Yeah, the wind just Obviously, got it. Obviously, on track, man, that, that last one you just hit was directly on line, but uh, the wind brought it over to the right, so. Yep. Oh, that that should be good. closer to the flag there. That one looks really good. That might spin. Spin back. Oh, there oh, it there is. Go. Nice shot. Right over the pin. So clearly you can you can work the ball a little bit too in the sense that you're holding it a drop against the wind a little bit there. Right. That one I was trying to flight down a little bit because that last shot floated up in the air a little bit with it. Yeah. Feels really so that soft one, the And that face. one also for what's worth it spun close to 10,000 on that yeah. one. So. Oh, if that's there, that's really good too. Just a little short. Just a little short. Yep. Right on line though, once again. Yep. Wind got that one just to just a touch. Looks like you're able to kind of, you know, you're you're manipulating the flight pretty well though with those wedges. At least right. in this from this location. Yeah, so I've given a little bit of variability in the height that I've hit the each shot. Notice the wind got it after the second shot, so then I try to flight it down a little bit and Mm -hmm. So knock a little spin off that last shot. It's a little bit deep there. Yeah, that one almost further. the wind yeah. kind of tied as you. Wind died on us on that one. Yeah. That's a pretty good shot too. That wind. That one spun back a little bit. Mm-hmm. So that one was a 9,500 spin. So interesting. So the dispersion, you've got four balls right around the, the, each other. I mean, right at kind of that 110 mark on here, um, right on the center line, pretty much. One a little bit deep, one a little bit short. I think that was just some kind of spin uh, differences there. But yep. I mean, full shots. You're able to. I, I really like how you're able to kind of hold that draw against this wind that's coming at us from the from the left. Yeah, so I don't know what the track man's showing, but we do notice that the ball is kind of just right of the flag. Yeah, yeah. Every every single time, that's just the wind into and bring it, yeah, bring yeah. it that way. So it's probably knocking about ten yards off. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. At least, I mean, you see, you got a cup out of the very front of the green. You got, 
There is a couple paths to fit into, but yep. um, no, how does it sound and I mean feel to you? Because I feel like it sounds very soft. Very soft, very quiet off the face. Mm -hmm. Incredible feedback off the face too. And uh, and so far with this black finish, you no know, white marks or wear marks or anything like that. That's which impressive. Is always good. That's always good to see. Yeah, yeah, feels right. feels good. Ready to hit some bunker shots? Let's hit some bunker shots. All right, Thomas, we're in the bunker now. Um, what are you looking for out of a wedge, you know, in terms of bunker play? Like, what are the characteristics that you need to hit good bunker shots? Well, for me, the, the bounce. Yeah. The, how, how the bounce comes through at impact to make sure I have good clean contact with, with, with the ball and with the ground to get the ball to kind of pop up in the air. Okay. So, as in, as in the past, playing the um, PM grind, it was like cheating out of the sand. Yeah. So I'm excited to test this out of the sand here. Okay. All right. Well, I'm excited now too after you said that because yeah. this is, uh, you know, the the newer version, I suppose, a little bit of the, the PM grind. So. Right. Oh yeah. Pretty good. There's start, some bite yeah. on that one. A little bit of bite, one hop and and bite. Got that, made that look great. Well, you were or the club or both made that look very easy. <laughs> That was, that I think was it's a little combination of both, but the club coming through, yeah, just felt like it impacted, just mm -hmm. just kind of bounced like it like it should. That would be pretty close. Might go in. Ugh. Ooh. Goodness. Yep. All right. I got it too good. That thing just, yeah, the at impact feels so good, so mm -hmm. so easy to hit. Yeah. And I kind of like the way, the fact that it just kind of looks like my own wedge. <laughs> yeah. So in, now, and in, in you've mentioned this too, but it's not as, ex, I guess, extreme of the, the toe shape, right? Right. Yeah. It's a little bit more subtle than it was in it's terms subtle of pure shape. And smaller as well. It looks more like a traditional wedge okay. shape. Okay. Yeah. While the previous PM grind, yeah, it was it large. Was, it was different. It wasn't, it was I must different. say, in this, I actually, grabbed it and tried it, I would never have thought I'd put it in my bag. Yeah. But then I hit it a couple of times, and I'm like, I can get over that look right away. And yeah, then I yeah. forgot about the look, because, I mean, I was holding shots, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If a wedge feels good, I can get over the look a little bit. But this definitely looks much cleaner, for yeah. sure. Go in. Ooh. That landed about an inch from the hole. Yeah, that was pretty good there. But well, yeah, I'm. You, you've got the hole surrounded there. I'm feeling my confidence grow and grow and grow every every swing with this with this wedge. Like the last one, I felt like I went at swung a little bit harder at it, uh, just kind of trusting, knowing that this club's going to do its job. Pretty good performance there out of the sand. I, I I've I've never I don't think I've seen five shots back to back that were that good from the green side bunker. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, so I, I approve. All right, well, Thomas, now we've got that kind of short little pitch chip shot here. Yep. Just off the green. What do you look for from a wedge from kind of this area? Yeah, so it's the same thing. I'm still trying to use the, the bounce pretty well. I'm not trying to take much turf. I'm just trying to have a clean contact. I would either hit two shots. So I'd either hit 60 and fly it a little bit a little bit further, or I'd opt for a club that's got a little bit more loft, say like 56, and have it released. So hit both clubs here. Generally speaking, I'd probably hit that shot the most the because I like the ball to roll a little bit more. But let's see how this club first responds and then we'll switch Kay. over. This is a shot that I know you like to hit. Yeah, and it, you know, I, I, we've had our discussions about this shot. I mean, why not? Oh, I was going to say, why not play the 60 degree on this shot? Right. Then you can go to the 56 and make it. Wow. That had a nice little check to it there. Gosh. Yeah. Feels pretty clean off the face. Like soft. A little bit of little bit of checkage to it. Got that a little heavy, so that might release a little bit more, or it's just a little bit short. No, I it mean bad. those are three more or less tap ins. Yeah. And that's one thing I like about these particular models is I didn't quite catch that one perfect, but it's it's forgiving. Like yeah. I said. There is some there is some subtle forgiveness in there. These wedges are like cheating <laughs> it's, it's it's so easy a little bit more ground on that one but it will kind of release out a little bit there you go well you've got four there with the 60 you want to try the 56 now let's do the 56 yeah see if you can beat that uh that little circle there right he might get me switching over to use 60 more often <laughs> oh yeah there's that low launch A little bit of check on it. A yep, little bit more of a release out because there's not as much uh, loft on it. 
It should be pretty good. Come on, break. It's pretty good. This is a little bit deep, but. Yep. Gave it a chance to go in, though. Which is what you're, someone of your caliber, you're trying to do that on these right. shots. Right, I'm trying to make it. I don't want to leave it short. No, I'm just trying to get it close somewhere. Come on, break. Very consistent there. You are, you're just, what, three feet three by? Three feet past every one. Which, that's what you, you know, you're trying to give it a chance to go in. One of these times it's going to. Roll out, ooh. It's close. And they're tight too. Right, yeah, so, I mean, regardless of the shot you're trying to hit with it, they're both very good options. Mm -hmm. You could for sure, you know, play a 54 and 56 and then a 60 with the wedges. You could play both of them. Yeah. Or you could just play one as your kind of utility. I've done that in the past. I've, I've played the more traditional wedges up to my 56 and then I've played that 60 with a specialty one with the, yeah. the PM grind. But yeah, the Jaws is, uh, it's, Unique, I'm excited because I will probably be putting in yeah. the bag very soon. I, I need new grooves, so. Yeah. And it's, well, it's the, time you for know, This is, again, the raw groove and groove technology on there. So you got the raw face and the groove and groove technology. Optimize a little bit here with these wedges. So you're gonna get the bite, that's again, jaws. Tons of bite out there. We saw with the bunker shots. Saw the actually ball come back a little bit on the bunker right. shot. Yep. And uh, we saw, you know, the, the nice check there with the 60 degree pitch shots. And of course, we see it too on the full shots there. So uh, you've got the control on the full shots. You've got the control on the bunker shots. You got the control on these pitch shots. I mean, great performance here. Jaws full toe wedges. All right. Well, Thomas, final thoughts here on the Jaws full toe wedges. Um, I think, you know. Impressed by the forgiveness. I think you mentioned a couple times that you didn't quite catch a shot perfectly, uh, but it still performed the way you would want uh, a wedge shot too. And then, you know, again, I liked the way I was watching you hit the, the full shots. Um, you're trying to kind of flight it in there with this wind and you were still able to do that. Yeah, and then for me too, they inspired confidence. The more bunker shots I hit with it, the more aggressive I could get with it and yeah. I can generate a little bit more spin and, and really trust that that bounce on that club it's going to go through the sand nicely and the ball is going to come up and check up a couple of times and go by the flag. So I gained confidence with my wedge game just by you know, playing this and also very, very appealing on the eye compared to the, the is, previous yeah. wedge that I've, that I've played. Right, and exactly. It's got to, when we talked about the PM grind, that's kind of the, the, the wedge that you're referring to there. Yep. It's a little bit more compacted than that, um, which can provide a lot of confidence for you, especially someone that's a shot maker like yourself, uh, where you, can, you know you can fight that ball if you need to. Uh, and then, of course, as we saw the bunker shots, you're going to get the spin and control that you need there, too. Um, that offset groove and groove technology on the face, the new yep. raw technology as well, new raw club face. Um, it does look and feel a little bit different than past wedge faces. Yeah. Um, but it, there's a reason for that, and that's the performance that we saw here from testing. Um, and then it's worth noting again, too, I think that you know these, these wedges are kind of built for somebody like that wants that versatility that's going to manipulate the face. There isn't a lower loft really available, 50, 52, they're not there. You've got the 54, um, but again, they're all going to basically 54 up to 60, well, 64 too. Um, but they're going to have that C grind as well. So versatility there, kind of mid to high bounce, but um, a lot of shot making potential with these wedges. Yeah, they're. The C grind wedges with a little bit more bounce on them with the, the, the full high toe finish to them. Yeah. Is what they, what they are and they're easy to hit yeah. and they look good. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I'll lastly ask you this as a fitter. So when you're fitting customers into maybe a new set of wedges or new, maybe they need some a new you know shot making wedge around the greens, um, what type of golfer or golfers would, uh, would really benefit from this wedge? Yeah, I think we've seen obviously PM grind, Phil Mickelson grind, that yeah. tour professionals will We'll, we'll play these, these type of wedges. Yeah. You know, I've played this type of wedge for the last two years because it's inspired confidence in my short game. Yeah. So you start right there, professional golfers, all the way up to amateur golfers that are also looking for a little bit more confidence with, with yeah. their wedges. I, I've said it before, it's, they're so easy to hit. Yeah. It's, in, the, in the past, yeah, it's, visually they look a little bit different. Now we're starting to see this is kind of becoming kind of the norm of all the manufacturers. They've all kind of got that little high toe finish to them. Just give it a shot, give it a try. All the golfers out there would fit into, you know, just make sure you work with your club fitter to figure out gapping wise, oh, yeah. what lofts you need on it, lie angle, uh, the lofts with regards to what loft that you need, and bounce there too. Yeah. Now there's not as many bounce options with these, but talk about your, your club fitter, whether you fit into this type of club. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you've heard it here, uh, and Thomas Campbell has given his stamp of approval 
on the Callaway Jaws Full Toe Wedges. Uh, if you're interested in one of these to add in your bag and optimize your short game, you can stop at Second Swing Stores or SecondSwing.com and talk to an expert like Thomas here, uh, and we'll get you set up with one for your bag. Uh, also, lastly, again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, drop a like, leave a comment, uh, give us your feedback on uh, all of our videos out there. So, Thomas, thank you for, again, joining today, giving your feedback. Uh, these look like they'll be a home run. Yep, I'm excited. It's probably going to go in my bag. <laughs>